So who had a panic attack at work about a water bottle? I did. <laughs> what to do y'all, it's your girl makeup and travel. And for today's video, I am bringing you a video that is almost a month late. But you know, sometimes they say it's better late than never. And we're gonna stick with that one for this one. So as you can see by the title, I am bringing you guys a wrap up of how my no buy went for the month of November. So let's just get into it. Alrighty guys, so as the title suggests, as you guys saw last month and never saw again, I did a no buy for the month of November. Now in that no buy video, I did stipulate that I was gonna be purchasing on two different occasions, one for Veterans Day and the other for Black, um, Friday. I did not purchase anything on Veterans Day, which I was very happy about, very proud about. No. Yeah, I might have purchased one or two things because I want to say Colored Rain did a sale during that day and I went ahead and scooped up some things that I wanted. But the majority of my purchases as predicted were done on Black Friday. I got a new computer, which was desperately needed um and i got a bunch of makeup now almost all of my makeup has come in i hope to get this up before my haul but my haul will be the very next video that you guys see um and i hauled some things okay um i'm not ashamed because that was what i did but i hauled some things um and hmm, this last no buy has really taught me that when i do a no buy especially for a month's period i tend to remember all the things that i really want build all of these cards and then as soon as my no buy is over i purchase 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 and i mean i purchase like the day after I don't, I'm not that person that stays up till midnight to start purchasing, but I do purchase the day after. And that's not good. It's not good. It's not healthy. None of it. Um, and so for me, I'm finding that no buys are not the answer. I think for me, a low buy is going to be the answer. Um, and so that is what I'm actually going to be attempting to do for the whole month of no, or the whole month. For I had kind of attempted to start it this month, but this is my birthday month. So it didn't really work as planned, which I kind of expected. That's fine. Um, but definitely the month of November, I'm going to attempt to condense my purchasing down to three products from in each category there are certain categories that i will not be purchasing period just because i have way too much foundation is getting there i purchased a good amount of foundation so that's next um highlighters are next blushes are next um so eyeliners i really don't need any more eyeliners gel liners i don't need anymore there are a bunch of different settings that i don't need like primers i'm not a huge fan of primers so no setting sprays i don't really need mainly i'm willing to purchase eyeshadow palettes bronzers and that's pretty much it and brushes those are the three categories of makeup that i'm still really willing to purchase in the month of january i'm gonna try and hold myself to that there might be a blush or highlighter that sneaks in, um, but th those are like on the maybe. They're they're like on a yellow light, you know? All the other ones are on hard red. The blushes and highlighters are on a yellow light. And then we got my bronzers and eyeshadows that are on a green light, okay? Um, and I still can only purchase three of each category. Um, for this month, I've done decent. I've stuck close to it, but not I have not set it in stone. Um, I think that's mainly because a lot of purchases that I made earlier on in the month of December, I did like bulk orders. So I purchased like three lipsticks in one purchase, such and such. So that really took away my leeway to make other purchases. And that's something that I need to adjust my purchasing style and really adjust me. But that is why I think a low buy will be better for me than a no buy because things like that happen where I go ham in one purchase 
and it's not that it's unnecessary because I generally like 95% of the items that I purchase um, and if I don't like it my best friend loves to take things off my hands so it's perfect for that but I don't even want to bring that much stuff in and another thing in this low buy I really want to focus in going in store specifically to Ulta, Sephora, Macy's, all of that jazz. I do a lot of purchasing for indie brands and that's one of those things you can't really help the packaging that you build up the you know the trees and all that stuff that you're killing by all the packaging so I'm gonna try and reduce at least some of my packaging and all of that jazz by going in store to the places that I can. So that's gonna be a effort that I'm really gonna strive to do and that will force me to really see the product, touch the product, see if it's something that I expected based on the reviews that I've watched, based on the swatches that I've seen, based on the pretend smells that I have smelled. Um, yeah, so for me, once again, just to wrap this up in a bow, because I feel like I've been talking a lot just to do a closeout of a no buy um, that happened a month ago. I think the no buy does not work for me personally because I go to ham afterwards, but I think it could work for somebody who has more self-control. I'm trying to dial back and gain a little bit more self-control by doing more of a low buy and seeing how I can constrict my purchases, really focus on how many things I'm bringing into my collection. Maybe just as everybody else is doing like a no buy year, maybe I can do that in 2000, wait, 2020. But until then, 2019 right now, I'm just gonna focus on being low with my purchases, bringing that in. And the last thing I wanna talk about I am going to be creating a separate account where I will be putting my money that I want to use towards makeup and traveling, hence my name. And if I go over that budget, well, that's what I'm saying. I will not be going over that amount of money that I put into that account. And I think that'll help to really streamline the purchases that I make and really be aware of of how much money I am spending. So that's another tip that I have learned through my no buys this year, specifically the November no buy, and something that I'm gonna be taking into the year of 2019 for my hopefully year long low buy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely comment down below how you guys do no buys, how you guys do low buys. I'm definitely interested to hear different people's takes. I love getting different perspectives and maybe your methods will work for me as well. So as always y'all, it has been real. Peace.